Club Novice Championship, the 112 pounders. And introducing first, in the blue corner, boxing for Hicks Aurora, Annie Sanchez. And in the red corner, for the Marshall Arts Academy of St. Joseph, Shante Walker. All right, boxing fans, this is going to be a good one. Annie Sanchez and Shante Walker for the 2001 Kansas City Golden Gloves 112-pound sub-novice championship. And the two-touch gloves, and we are underway. You're watching the eight-count boxing hour, and I am so glad you're here. And the two, as all of these fights have just started quick, and Shante Walker, Annie Sanchez throwing down here. Sanchez keeping her hands moving. Shante Walker with a quick blast and then kind of step back. Shante Walker fighting out of the southpaw stance. And it's Annie Sanchez though driving her back, keeping her hands moving and pushing Shante Walker back. She gets a warning for an elbow there, it goes to Annie Sanchez. So Shante Walker was kind of being driven back there as Annie Sanchez keeping her hands moving. Walker trying to catch her coming in. Pretty slick boxing for sub-novice uh, ladies. And that ends round one. As we look into the corner of Shante Walker. She came out blazing but towards the end of the round, they kind of got pushed back, and she kind of stopped punching and got driven back a little bit. That may have swayed the round over to Annie Sanchez, but they were going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the opening part of the round. And I think her coach is telling her just that. You gotta, you gotta keep working to win these short rounds. And over in the other corner, Annie Sanchez, gonna have to watch yourself. Shante Walker is not shy about throwing punches. But Annie Sanchez was able to uh, keep it going a little bit more. That may have got her the round. Pretty close, but I think she got that opening round. We'll see. As we start round two, you are watching the Count Boxing Hour back in Albuquerque, New Mexico on public access television. And here we go. Oh, and there's a right hand from Shante Walker. Sanchez is not deterred, and she comes in swinging with both hands. Again, she runs into a left hand. Annie Sanchez just seems like she doesn't fear anything. She's walking in again. She gets caught with a left hand. I think Shante Walker has landed some better pinpoint punches to open things here in the second round. Oh, and there's a left hand from Sanchez. Snap the head back of Walker. Now she has Walker pinned back in the corner, going to work on her. And the referee gives a warning for, for holding on, and Shante Walker takes a deep breath. She seems a little bit winded here. Let's see if Annie Sanchez can take advantage of that. And that ends the second round. They're short rounds. You gotta do your work quick. Shante Walker, just like the first round, off to a great start, but kind of ran out of gas at, at the end of the round. So this is a good one. Lots of action, lots of punches. So glad you could join us back in Albuquerque here on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. Dan Cisneros, after the last year at Ringside, what an atmosphere, what a great, a great event this is. These two ladies get going quick. They don't take time to warm up. They just come out blazing. Makes for some fun boxing for the fans. Short rounds, though. They got to get their work in quick. And this is for the championship in the sub novice 112 pound women's division. So we are all set for the third and final round. Both girls landing some good shots. 
Walker got off to a good start, and there you see her again with these good straight pinpoint shots. But let's see if the pattern continues as Sanchez just keeps working, wearing down Shante Walker, who starts off quick, gets pinned into the corner here. And Sanchez now going to work on Shante Walker. Annie Sanchez not stopping. <laughs> Walker at trying to answer back, but she's the one being pinned back on the ropes in the corner here. She's got to watch it. Uh, I saw that coming in eight, standing eight count. She could not answer enough and could not get herself out of the situation. Standing eight count scored against Shantae Walker. That's really going to help Annie Sanchez in the scoring. And time running out in these short rounds. Looks like Annie Sanchez may be on her way to a championship here in the 2001 Kansas City Golden Gloves. We'll see as the two hug to end this one. I think that's going to be enough for Annie Sanchez to get this championship. Shante Walker would come out looking sharp, but then just kind of run out of gas. And she could have sustained it. It could be maybe a different uh, story here. But Unofficially, we have Annie Sanchez ahead on the scorecard, at least on my scorecard here. Guy next to me thinks so too, so yeah, everybody's knocking yes, okay. So we think Annie, San Annie Sanchez won. And uh, we'll have to see what the official scoring is as we await the ring announcer. What a great event tonight, but we're so glad we could be here. And we're so glad we could bring it to you back in Albuquerque. Shante Walker with the uh, probably the more accurate punches when she would land, but Annie Sanchez with just overwhelming volume. And um, we're going to get the trophies up, up here for the referee. Give to the winner and, and the runner-up. This is the championship bout, so that even whoever loses this bout will still be the runner-up. And let's go up to the ring announcer and find out who won this one. Well, the winner here, just a moment. Now to get the right trophy. This is the 156 Subnautics Championship for 2001, I beg your pardon, it's 112 pounders. The winner in the blue corner is Annie Sanchez, Victor Moore, winning on the 